Welcome back to the garage, guys. I'm Damien, and this is the Visor Builder. All right, so the next step, uh, as I wait for a new rack for my Baja bug, now that I've got the A-arms set up um, and you have the prototypes, if you will, complete, it's time to make some A-arms to match them. But first we gotta clear some space, give me some working room. After I cleared some space, I started disassembling the arms so that I could use them to make the jigs needed to make duplicates. Like I say, I'm pretty happy how tight these bushings feel, even though they're a pain in the butt to get out. It should make for a nice tight suspension. A rack with the uh, bushings out. I'm gonna make a jig of this, these arms. Let me show you what I'm gonna do there. I went and got some shock tabs, some tall shock tabs from Rough Stuff with a 9 16 hole. Okay, so now that I got the back two on and standing above, I need to put on this. And I went out and I bought myself a 7 16 bolt that will fit into here and thread all the way in. In case there's some heat warp, I went and bought myself from Amazon a 7 6 a 7 8 tap. And this way I had to chase the threads. God, I got this tap. I needed it sooner than I thought. Not much of heat warp, but it's there. So I got that. Nice, that's much nicer. Oh yeah, that's really good. Now for the other arm. Yep, I needed to chase these threads too. Then I drilled the holes out of these two shock tabs to 7 8 This will allow me to finish up all the prep and then I can build the jig. I got some box tube specifically for this. We're going to make a T and I'm going to weld all the mounts. That way I can unbolt this system and then bolt the other one in, the, the arm that I haven't finished yet. It'll hold everything in the exact spot. It may or may not look exactly like this one, uh, but it'll be pretty dang close. I'm going to do that also with the lower arm. This is the upper arm. Um, once I have everything welded up, then I'll have two exact uh, with the same point where the mounts are and that will make yeah, make it good. So that's the plan. So here we go. Then I cut it out. And cleaned it up. Then I lined up the box tube under the arms to make the jig. All right, this is the jig that I'm making. It's basically gonna be an L bracket. The bottom link is gonna be more like a T. But anyway, so I got these long shock tabs. I drilled out that one. 
so I could bolt it into the weld-in bung. I got these. I set up the one by three on the on the table, which is flat. Um, I double checked and triple checked the square and now I'm just going to tack weld all of these things together. Tack weld the tabs onto the uh, onto the, the L itself and that will give me a jig. So then I'll just take the other pieces, put them in, I'll be able to bolt the weld and bung here. I get both bushings there, set this in where it needs to be, tack weld it plate it and then it'll be exactly the same measurements so yeah that's the plan let's keep going after tack welding the jig in several places and being confident that it wouldn't move around i fully welded everything up Now that this is cooled, I can go ahead and crack these bolts. Well, I'm not going to build the second arm in this video. I did want to see if my version of a jig would work, so I test fit everything to see. With the upper arm jig done, I moved on to build the lower arm jig. Following the exact same procedure, I assembled the arm with the tabs, laid out the box tube, squared it up, and welded up the jig. Once cooled, I took the arms off the jigs and got ready to start constructing the second set of arms. The jig is up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting over it. All right, so um, these are my jigs. Uh, this is the end product of them. I probably could have fully welded down here to make it complete, but um, I'm pretty confident they have, they're not going to move. Um, and I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to make a complete set of second arms uh, exactly like the first. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I guess we'll find out in the next video. <laughs> so, uh, so please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Damien and this is The Bible.